so let's go to the next step is creating the lighting okay okay and now let's change to the original file first okay this one is the original file okay let's to speed up the rendering process I will cut the global subdiv to 0 0.2 to make sure everything render faster okay now let's uh, continue with the lighting section here uh, I use a fire light dome and using our own creation SGRI okay I already prepared the fire light dome here I use a multiplier uh, 12 as a multiplier and first I will use the the default option here and let's add SGRI here okay and open your material editor and drag and drop the Fury SGRI here and let's select the SGRI and yes I, I have a plenty of SGRI and I will use the Seven thousand uh, seven thousand resolution for so it's faster to do the render task. So and make sure the mapping type using spherical. Okay, I will let the I will leave the gamma as as it is first. Okay, let's see the S here. Okay, I will I will show you the full bitmap using uh, Photoshop here okay as you can see there's a lot of dynamic color in this SGRI versus you can have the orange color of the sun and the gray color of the cloud and also the bluish color of the sky this is this is very very beautiful sky okay so here I want to explain also about the how the movement of the horizontal rotation okay uh, as you, when you press the top view okay top view This direction will be the starting point of the your SGRI. So this one is will be zero. Okay, which is this is the position of the sun on your SGRI, and will rotate clockwise. Okay. From my uh, from from the test, uh, I can get the horizontal rotation around 320. Okay, let's do the test. Okay, uh, as you can see, the the result is pretty flat, but you can see the red reflection orange reflection and the orange color a little bit uh, orange color on the flower so i think we need to strengthen the the gamma to to get a stronger light here okay let's let's cancel here uh, okay let's save it first Okay, we already save it and 
let's try using a uh, gamma 0 0.85 okay I think the yellow color uh, the orange color is pretty is stronger than before okay let's let's check it Yes, uh, this one is stronger than before, but also the result is getting darker. Okay, so but it's okay, no need to worry. Let's let's leave it uh, as it is. Now I will use a color correct to. Uh, create a uh, to give the bluish effect on this SGRI. I prefer using a uh, color correct rather than uh, tweaking the SGRI using Photoshop. It's easier to control here. Okay, so let's see here. Can adjust it. Okay, let's look. Cool, right? Okay, let's let's try again. Different from the previous, it already looks having more uh, bluish effect. I will decide that this first fairy light dome will act as the GI. So. I will uncheck the affect diffuse here. So uh, the G, I mean the GI for the specular and reflection. Sorry. So this very light dome will will only affect the sky. With but in this camera we cannot see the sky. But and the affect specular and affect reflection. On the glass and the water. Okay, so uh, I create another fairy light dome here. Let's turn on. I uncheck the. I I check the invisible, so it will affect the diffuse only. So it will not affect the specular and reflection. Okay, I will reduce this to 8. Okay. See, uh, the process also similar with the previous uh, uh, previous fairy light dome. So, here I will let you see the setting of the second SRI, which is also the same sky, but I reduce the gamma to 0 0.6 and strengthen the red color I got this amount so okay let's try to render it uh, the orange color of the sign uh, the Sun uh, looks a lot more visible in here and having a lot more orange color than the previous one. The previous one, uh, if you not enhance the red color of the SGRI and you only reduce the gamma to 0 0.6, you won't be able to get this kind of effect. So we have to use two different kind of fairy light dome. Maybe some of you asking why I'm not using the store with irradiant map. For me, a uh, store with irradiant map uh, only for when you connect your fairy light dome with the fairy sun. 
here I'm not using store with irradiant map because I want everything from the SGRI and, and I'm not going to use uh, any free sun at all oh yes uh, before we go to the post production process I want to show you the final setting of the of this scene I use a freezing filter and I'm not using any inferior environment here and adaptive DMC minimum subdiv 2 and maximum subdiv 4 and I use the DMC sampler threshold and there's actually there's no nothing magical here uh, so for current preset uh, how to get this one is very easy just put it in medium and custom for the test render I always use four mi minus four and minus three but uh, final you you can use this one just add more hemisphere subdivision round probably I think for this one is 50 is enough so and add sub that uh, LC is up to around 1500 and use this noise threshold and adaptive adaptive mount like this one okay let's do the rendering okay let's uh, change the resolution to 2500 